Dirty pop. Yo. Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new edition of Pop, Pop, Lock, Lock and Drop It. I am your host, JD. My name is Jaden. And today we uh, did a little uh, short ski toy hunt, uh, impromptu. We, we weren't really looking to go, but we had nothing to do on this rainy Saturday, which is March 9th. Mm -hmm. It's March 9th. Yeah. And uh, so this will probably come out after the toy hunt. And we got some some cool pops. We tra I actually uh, traded in some, so I was trying to bring it down, get some brand new stuff. Because that's what you got to do. You know, you get you buy stuff and then you, you admire it for a while. And then you want to buy some more. So you get rid of stuff you think you could just do without. Now, one of the things I also wanted to say before we get into it, this, this, this wall here, this ain't go nowhere, nowhere, because that's my my walls. It goes this way, like never gonna get rid of, possibly not gonna get rid of, and I might get rid of some stuff, and then back that way. So uh, we went to Heroes Hideout, our favorite place. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those of you who don't know what Heroes Hideout is, it is the toy headquarters here in the Capital District. So if you guys are in the Northeast area, specifically in the Capital District of Albany, New York, you want to head on down to Crossgates Mall. And Heroes Hideout is over, right above uh, Burlington Coat Factory. And check them out. Uh, they are one of the best places to go as far as like Funkos, wrestling figures, uh, DC McFarland. They got, what else they got? They got Marvel Legends. Pokemon uh, cards. Pokemon cards. They got Star Wars. And they do a lot of signings on there. So I'm going to leave a link of their socials uh, in the description of this video. But yeah, we, uh, well, I won't say how much we got trading value. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that on the, on the low low. It's actually on the, uh, the toy hunt video so you'll see that link right over here but uh, why don't you go first what, oh, no, what did you i'll get? let you go oh okay okay cool all right so i haven't had i haven't had a lot of uh, anime stuff uh i've been wanting to but just one of the things that when i started collecting um and this is totally different everybody collects differently but uh i, I just buy what i like um and uh, i have to sh get a shout out to akira uh, toriyama uh, I hope I said that correctly, but uh, R.I.P. He was the guy who was the uh, creator of the manga Dragon Ball Z. He passed away at the age of uh, 68. I believe it was 68. So, but um, I actually started watching this anime again because I was so, I'm so behind Naruto Shippuden. Um, and so I I have a Naruto over here. Uh, if you probably have seen some of our older pop lock and drops like from the beginning of when we started you'll probably see that one there uh but i got this rock lee sorry for the glare rock lee uh is a cool this is a picture right here he's a cool character because uh you know just a quick synopsis he he doesn't have any special ninjutsu power he's all about taijutsu just the martial arts and he's very good um but yeah, so I got this uh, this Rock Lee. I, did, I saw, and then I think he, I saw Asuma. If I, I hope I said that correctly. And what was the, uh, some of the other ones we saw over there? Uh, Demon think, Slayer? Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, so I saw that Rock Lee and I, I, I said, you know what? Let's, I'm just gonna get it, you know what I mean? You know, some Funko Pops have, the, um, when you open them, the top latch, they could have like a little quote. Yeah, so just to take a sidestep here, because we all, we're all about, you know, letting you know and educating people if they don't know a lot about Funkos. He just brought this to my attention. I have never heard of this, except for that one thing about people opening their their Funkos and chopping up their, cutting up their heads to see if there's like a little surprise in there, which I think that was debunked. I don't think that's, no, that's not, not true. Real, but apparently there are some Funkos, um, and this came out in 2002. What? This came out in 2002? Let's see here. I'm trying to see here. Oh, the sticker, the price sticker is uh, covering up when it came out. No, it came out in 2020. The anime came out in 2002. There we go. 
So apparently if you open up, but some of the newer pops, if you open up, and I'm trying not to break the, the Funko box here. So if you open up the seal or the, this here, it's supposed to have something listed there. So any of the, so I would say what, anything from office, like 2021? Like, like um, the Office or the new Portal 2 pop? Yeah, so there are some pops that if you have on the lid here, it'll have some sort of a writing on it. Uh, but this one's a little older from 2020. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, so you can see that there. And that's one of the cool things about Heroes Hideout is that, that they don't care if it's an exclusive from Amazon, Target, Walmart, Hot Topic, doesn't matter. They will trade it. They'll give you a pretty good uh, value on it too. So check them out. And why don't you go ahead and go with yours and we'll, we'll go off, so off and on. When I bought uh, a, a few days, um, like a long time ago, after I, Christmas. Mm -hmm, after Christmas, I bought this Pennywise Meltdown, sorry for the glare. It's supposed to be when Pennywise was in his human, human form. form. And, um... So it was yeah, a right. part of the, was it came out in 2000 and... Uh, it Chapter 2. Came out in... Well, the pop, the pop came out in... 2019. Mm -hmm. So this, this came out in 2019. So, I, I mean, he's he's been getting into the, uh, you know, I'll show you a little bit uh, on the side there what he looks like. He's been getting into the, the horror uh, lately. Haven't shown him anything like really, really horror. Like I think the the most the graphic that he's watched was Child's Play. I think that was like the most, uh, we didn't watch it, the, the original it or the remake yet. We didn't watch Nightmare on Elm Street. We haven't watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, Halloween, none of that yet. But speaking of child's play. I found this that is um, one of the horror movies that don't have a mouth. It's Chucky. Yeah. So these uh, Funko Pops, what, what year did that come out of? I think it came out in... It's right here. 2022. All right, so anything I think prior to 2020 didn't have the mouth, right? Mm -mm. So I think like comment that, in the comment section if you know exactly when when did Funko start putting the mouths on. But uh, yeah, so that was that was actually the first one he found after we got our trade-in value from the people at Heroes High. Um, poster, poster, right? Yeah, that's the poster that uh, came on the advertisement. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the, the poster you would see at the movie theaters too when, uh, when it's coming out. I think that, that came out in 1991? Yeah. 1990, 1991. After Child's Play? Well, Child's Play 1 came out in the 80s. I think it came out in 88. Mm -hmm. I was seven at the time. Yeah. Uh, so the next one that I got, and I've actually previously shown it on a previous uh, pop, lock, and drop it is E.T. with the uh, Elliot. Elliot with E.T. on the bike? Yeah. Where did I put it? Is it oh. over there? Over there. Oh, it's down there. Okay. So, I got, was Elliot with the bike. So, I got Elliot just by himself from the movie E.T. And so, this is the one that I have right now. And so, I need E.T. in disguise, E.T. with flowers. Gertie, which is his sister, and then, no. and then E.T. in a robe. But this is what the pop looks like out of the box. Uh, this pop came out in... Let's see here. Apologize, folks. Oh, the sticker's covering the, the year. Um, let's see if it has anything on the lid. It does not. But this is a pretty cool. I love E.T. E.T. is a very one of the the most famous uh, '80s movies, and it was directed by one of the most famous directors ever. I mean, he's directed a lot of great movies. E.T. E. Jurassic Park, Hook. He's directed Close Encounters of the Third Kind. He's directed Jaws. Um, but yeah, Steven Spielberg. So I'm, I'm glad I have this, Elliot. Sorry about the glare. Um. So do you know that? Um. You know. We, when Reese's was falling a very far time behind when 
E.T. was first made, it was Reese's, but guess what they did? What? They put Reese's in the E.T. movie, and one of the scenes is him using his magic with the Reese's, eating them, so it's technically people watch it and then they buy the Reese's. Well, yeah, pro it's what they call product placement, so basically they, a lot of companies will say, hey, we'll give you X amount of dollars to the to the studio that makes the movie if you have one of our products and I mean you're obviously you see Coca-Cola, you see you know Pepsi. Pepsi, uh, you know, Skittles. all kinds of Skittles, all kinds of different products, even even cars. Uh, so that's one of the ones that I got. What was the other one you got? Oh the other one I got was if you don't know it's called Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Sorry about the glare there. It's Harold as the scarecrow. Yeah. So it's this story about people who find this old book and they read it. Spoilers ahead. They read it and people in the book, their friends in the real world get um their no names get written down and it shows like them for a brief minute and then it's like a story like the scarecrow so Harold doubts and the scarecrow comes and gets Harold and um he becomes a scarecrow and on the back it you can get Harold and the jangly man and you see there and so lastly, um, and I'm, I'm sure you've seen anybody who's been with us from day one-ish, so we do appreciate you. We're almost, at the time of this video, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. So, you know, tell your friends, we do appreciate everybody's uh, um, support. But big Office fan, and I got about, I got a, a whole shelf uh, the, the, uh, the, devoted, well, I can't talk, devoted to The Office. And this is actually one of the, 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 brands or the, the shows that uh, Jaden had mentioned earlier that does have a you know on the lids but this one specifically does not have because I just checked does not have any messages on the lid but it is Oscar Martinez who is from accounting and he has uh, his little figurine that he's holding and I already have let me see here out of the ones actually I don't have anyone out of this series other than uh, Oscar so I need Dwight Schrute with the pumpkin head I need Michael Scott with the with the crutches I need Pam Aaron and Kevin Malone in his in, in uh, Incredibles Halloween costume so you can see it right there that's what it looks like out of the box I'm sure everybody has seen uh, the, the show The Office at some point. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't watched it, but his mother and I love the show very much. Okay, so the last top. It the is, the it is um, the monster from The Quiet Place. And I just saw that there was a, a movie coming out of the prequel, how the monsters came to be, where they had to stop, they had to stop talking, had to be very, very quiet. I also uh, wonder why that, um, why that that movie came out. Yeah, so Quiet Place is a is a horror movie. Basically, it's a it's a thriller and a horror movie. Uh, synopsis, real quick, spoiler alert: of uh, these aliens that come down or have come down, and. They can find you based on your sound. So if you make a sound, kind of like a velociraptor, if you make a sound, or no, kind of like a T-Rex, if you make a sound, it can hear you based on when you talk so that people can't, they have to be very quiet, they can't say anything. Uh, so this is the monster that was in the movie. And it doesn't show you anything on the back of any of the other, you know, Funko Pops from this line. There are sometimes like the child's play one doesn't show you any of the other ones that are on this uh this series so. i think there's a rare funko pop of child's play 2 it'll be very rare it had like a blush of good on the cover and it would be hard to find i think oh i, I think i see i think i know where you want i've seen it on team a lot yeah so but yeah those are all the ones that we got on this 
Hop, lock, and drop it episode. Thank you so very much, guys. And uh, we still have some money left, so we might go tomorrow. Might. We don't know. Um, to get some more stuff. But if you guys liked the video and like, you know, collecting Funkos, we hope that you like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Patreon, X, Instagram, and Facebook. And follow us on TikTok and Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys. Say goodbye to the peeps. Goodbye. Keep on cruising. See you later.